Welcome back to part 13 of my Meow Ying Let's Play. Total War Warhammer 3. So, picking things up, we left them last time. Our trade caravan is under attack by ogres. It's a heroic victory. We are going to fight this one because the order resolve says we'll lose three of our units. A unit of jade warriors with halberds and two of our peasant long spears. And obviously, we want to avoid that. Quick little look at the map. They are attacking us, so we can take up the high ground here, form up a defensive line, and shoot them down as they charge towards us. Definitely need to keep an eye on those Mournfang Cavalry, though. Their charge is devastating, and they pack a massive punch. Let's dive on in and break those ogres. In we go. As always, thanks for your comments, advice, tactics, and suggestions. They're all greatly appreciated. Do keep them coming, as well as those unit name suggestions over on part one of this series. That way, they're all in one easy place for me to find. I'll likely add in more of your unit name suggestions to our second army, probably not next episode, uh, but the first episode of next week, part 15, uh, out next Monday. Uh, thanks as well for all the Empire Captain name suggestions. The <laughs> there was one that really stood out to me, though, and it's uh, Marco Yolo. Gotta be done. Gotta be done. Marco Yolo off on his adventures. I wonder if anyone will write a story about him. Should say as well, we've got, if you're new to the channel, we have loads of uh, members within the community that like to write extra histories and tales to kind of fit the various campaigns that I'm playing. If you haven't checked them out, definitely come back to the comment section a couple of hours after the video has been released because it's absolutely fantastic to see you guys creating additional content to support the, the videos that I'm making and the stories that I'm crafting love reading all your extra tales and stories of various characters so yeah please do keep that coming it's absolutely awesome i love seeing it right cavalry um i don't really do much with it. i'm just gonna keep you back in the forest here well, we right against the mountainside is it like a temple or something like that could you guys send out some help or let us in we're under attack by ogres to just sit there watching uh we're definitely gonna get flanked by those mournfang cavalry um I think, in fact, because of that, I'm going to want to kind of angle angle these guys a little bit. Maybe even like, as much as that. And let's get those archers. They're all close together, so they'll set off their harmony bonus. Obviously, we've got the Iron Hell Gunners out. So it's not particularly... I wonder, actually... Do you reckon they can maybe fire over because they're they're raised up there? Yeah, I reckon they can actually. A little bit of a okay, not so much for you guys. If I shuffle you guys over, like what if I move that whole front formation forward? In harmony. Warriors, wind and fire. Just take that all forward a smidge. So they're lower. These guys should fire over. Hopefully. Maybe not these guys. I don't think you guys will over here. Mm. Well, in which case, let's just try having both of them over here. Might work. And then we'll just support these guys by moving up the arches a little bit closer. Let's see if that'll do it. Also, thanks to everyone that weighed in on how the kind of realms of chaos and the, the, the race for the Demon Prince souls work. You definitely can go back to the realm slash even if you take the soul from there uh, it actually just gives you a quest to earn 10k by redoing the battle again so you can definitely go back through for the temptation so we'll likely take the last temptation that we get um well we'll actually we'll see we'll see what state our army's in if our army's in pretty good shape and we don't like the last temptation if it's really crap we might as well go through and take the demon prince soul because we can always return and do a, a race down to see if we can get um the sword of slanesh another time but if our army's a little bit battered and broken and we get a really yes, good temptation yeah. on that last circle, or obviously if it is the Sword of Slanesh, then we'll just take that. I think I'm going to leave my cavalry over here because I reckon yeah, I should have had these archers around here. I'm already slightly worried. That Mournfang cavalry coming around, so I'm just going to pull these guys back around. Just hoping these gunners will be able to fire over my troops. I think I've positioned them with just enough line of sight to do it we'll find out shortly because they're coming yep oh that yeah they're trying it nice the ogres are pretty tall entities as well nice we've held these guys off over that side it's looking good just got a brace for the charge obviously it is swords right in the center that's fine they've broken there let's send both my characters after the um slaughter master can you guys fire 
bring down that Mournfang cavalry. That'd be grand. Send my cavalry round to flank. Yeah, we're shredding them. Beautiful. Oh, he's he's cut through the line though. Look at him go. Come on, Marco Yolo. Oh wow, he's really really shredded. Absolute annihilation here. They've got a hunter as well. You you gonna do anything, mate? Are you lobbing your spear? Just you're just chilling. Quite a lot of you saying, when am I going to be doing an Ogres campaign? Obviously, right now, my schedule is full with the three launch Warhammer series that I've um, committed to, which is obviously Cathay, Kislev, and Demon Prince. Once we finish one of those, which will likely be the Demon Prince first, because that's a series that's streaming on Twitch. And um, we're quite a ways ahead with that. That'll probably be the first to, to, to finish up. We will then have a poll to decide which faction we're going to play as next. Um... All the other factions that we aren't currently playing a full let's play with will be uh, included on there. Apart from Corn, because I'm specifically waiting for the the Blood DLC update, do a a Corn campaign. If that's been released uh, by the time we end Demon Prince, then sure we'll uh, we'll include that on the poll. But otherwise, it'll be Ogres, Nurgle. Uh, Zinch and Slanesh. We won't include uh, another Cafe campaign with the Iron Dragon just yet because obviously it'd be fairly. I mean, well, it would be wouldn't necessarily be a fairly similar experience, but similar units. Uh, Iron Dragon's got a fairly interesting start, and he's a fairly interesting character himself. Playing some multiplayer battles with him, I actually, <laughs> from my multiplayer battles, I actually kind of think he's better than Miao Ying. But what do you guys think? Those of you that perhaps played with both dragons so far. I mean, Miao Ying's awesome, don't get me wrong. But I feel like he had some kind of cooler abilities. I mean, her Talon's Vortex spell is great, for sure. No denying that. Let's just hunt down as many of them as possible. Might as well get some extra XP. Definitely need to remember to set my missile troops to guard mode. I think it's because I actually gave them an attack order, so they moved out of formation anyway. Finish them off over there. Finish off the Noblar Trappers. I mean, it doesn't really matter because this army isn't going to be chasing us around on the map. It's just an event army that spawns in. But that's all good. Lovely. Yeah. Nice. Right, victory as predicted. But we didn't lose any of our units completely. We lost 153. So that's why we fought it. Now I see them bringing in some different units. I'm surprised the Mordfang Cavalry, have they, I don't know, maybe they've been nerfed from Warhammer 2 because they seem like they pack a massive punch in Warhammer 2. We just weren't used that well. I mean, they were going straight into spears. And we do have bracing on most of our units, so maybe that's it. Do, 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 do. Um, 8% replenishment. Probably should because you've got a ways to go. We got some decent loot from that. Our money situation is pretty fine right now. It's all good. Right, back to the start of our turn. Bellion. Yeah, we knew one was coming there. Hungry Ogres. Yeah, this guy that won't die. <laughs> Although I was going to send him straight into Jade Mountain, wasn't I? Get the game. Can't about movement range. Yeah, Living Nightmares were at maximum. Yeah, maximum taint. Ain't good thing is if we get rid of him if we get rid of him we're gonna go out of balance again we could use him to close down more portals and stop us spreading although they've come around that way i'm pretty sure that all my settlements should be fine maybe wing um wing chang yeah, it's, the, it's the weakest of my settlements but it's not terrible uh quite a few as well saying try and get onto the bastion with miao ying when you get back as well so that if they attack, it gets a little cinematic. I'm, I don't know about you guys. I guess so far I feel, I mean, maybe it's just because we're only at turn 45, but I feel slightly underwhelmed by the whole threat to the Great Bastion. I mean, we built up these massive garrisons. I'm hoping that it just gets bigger and, you know, worse for us, more aggressive. It just feels very manageable so far. And I was, you know, I wouldn't want it harassing us every single turn, you know, but 
Oh, a little sum sum would be nice. I think I for the moment, because we don't want to have that balance disrupted, let's just pull you back for a little bit. You are useful with that corruption reduction right now as well. I'm going to go for a little bit of control. And then what we'll do is we'll go through and we'll get Quartermaster with you. So we might be able to keep you. A caravan. We've got all that. Hidden stores. More replenishment. Yep, 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 yep. Do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. An upper hand, indeed. Cafe et I mean, really, I should have recruited some more units here for you. Um, so that should be a bit, a bit more useful for me. Dragon blooded sugar gun. Okay, of the eight right, we need wins. to move out and smash these guys now. Decisive victory, not going to lose anyone. Oh, but, but what are those? Oh, oh they're Forsaken. Oh, I haven't recognized that icon. Bye-bye. Well, that was a big old hit, actually. It's fine, we'll take the replenishment tank. Six cent. Farming. The one is 13, so back in we go. Good, that's going in there. That will also actually swing us... Uh, that's Yin. We're going to have that building coming in in two turns. So we'll be out of balance. So, okay, we can get rid of you at some point. It'd be a shame to get rid of you, but you're not particularly special. And also, I don't want that supply lines bug penalty harassing us. Um, so, yeah, hard pass on that. When can you get your long map? Frank 15. Two more. Uh, I don't know which one of these I really want, to be honest, just yet. Feel free to weigh in. I'm, I'm, I'm leaning towards Enfeebling Foe, though, because that's quite a good one across the board. I guess we'll go for Earthing and then Arcane Conduit. Nice, nice, nice. I mean, with you, we could also go through Blue. A gift Would be from useful. My ancestors. Um, yeah, we'll add in names for this army, I reckon. Not next episode, but uh, R15 on Monday. What I really need, what I really need is more agents. Don't I, don't I get more with uh, this? No. I think there's a building over here, which is linked to this on the map, the uh, observatory. That lets us get more, more units. Um, we, what did we destroy here? Something that was doing yin, uh, yang stuff rather, probably. Maybe, I don't know. Uh, we could go for this, which unlocks Astromar. Oh, we, ah, here we go. Okay, the Alchemist Tower. Because that's the, that's what I was going to build over Nangao once that upgrades. But I could also do that here. But also, we do have a Rebellion. Would it be wise instead? Or also, would it be wise to have that for Corruption Reduction? Um. Probably. Can't hit my line of sight. Recruit rank plus four. Is that for everyone or just the celestial units? That's pretty cool. That does give us more research rate. But we don't increase our capacity until we go up to that one. And we're not going to be able to upgrade you for a while. So... Seeing as we're going to... That does plus one yang. Oh, is that would actually bring... Oh, the, oh, there's yin. Uh -huh. Okay, let's go yin. Because then... We'll only be one short of being able to swap... Get rid of you. That's fine. That's fine. Um, all we need to basically do... Is either up... Uh, you know what? We're going to get rid of this building and build a yin building here. And then that will have a sorted for that army. So we can go back to being balanced. Oh, da, 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 that gets us Grand Cannon, Dragon Gates, Attrition. I mean, I was thinking like, oh, why bother? But we might as well. Got the money. Yeah, Outposts. Uh, oh, you guys were saying, apparently, I can turn off Outposts available. There we go. Thank you. <laughs> That is super annoying right now. Obey. Consume. Oh, so close to getting trade with these guys. Kizlev. So, what's everyone's go-to faction to get an outpost with in their playthrough so far in Warhammer Three? I, yeah, I need you to be weak to uh, be able to succeed here, but I don't know if, if that's going to happen. To be honest. 
I need you to get messed up by more portals, really, to lose your armies, be super weak. A most thoughtful strategy. As my you got three armies out right now, and you're looking pretty strong. But he's obviously not going to be going to the portals. I have to hope that they really mess him up and he has to deal with them. Right. Uh, we haven't we haven't uh, meow yinged. Definitely going to swap over to the warp zone desert after this. The storm. Oh, we can't move for another turn. That's why. Derp. Right. End the turn then. Army there going to come closer to us. It is. I mean, we might as well fight it before we go down for extra loot. Goldtooth claim a soul in the Nurgle realm. Right, we're in balance right now, which is going to be pretty helpful. And corruption, minus five, all provinces. Ooh, nice. Great Bastion is under attack. Kind of like, oh no, what a shame. Please attack me. I, I want to get attacked. I want some cool battles. Send your forces to me. Please make it challenging. Right, I'm going to go for another yin thing here. Yin thing? Yin thing? Growth, income from all buildings, local province. Mm, yeah, we'll go for that one. Oh, whoa, hang on. What's happened with our growth? Oh, because the slash corruption's so bad. Oh, damn. Damn. Definitely close that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, just remembered. Yeah, this will have space now for two slots. In fact, can't get the ninth wall, though. Um, we are going to go for Alchemist Tower. And, I mean, we could go through this so we can get Terracross Sentinels. I'd be tempted to go for the Celestial Barracks, though, so we can get some more elites out. Just because we're all... I mean, we're already able to get Terracross Sentinels from there, but actually the rest of it's quite useful, too. Mm -hmm. do, 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 do. We haven't got defense, extra defenses here, but it's just because I don't see this being under threat right now. We'll eventually swap out the, the lumber mill anyway. Um, they're both at tier three. I need, I need a little bit more growth for that. More research rate is nice. Let's fight that battle because I, I feel like Celestials would be nice. Um, oh, wow. That adds plus three in harmony. Oh, damn. The yin Hex. Damn. That means we could keep that other Lord and not have to get rid of him. Harmony. Above all. Um. Oh no! Wait, wait, wait! It would mean actually no. We, it would mean we could actually no. <laughs> Sorry, it would mean we can get rid of him and not worry about it dropping back the other way because it would be quite literally replace him. But we are now building Lord of Yin Lord. buildings, <laughs> so we would need a Yang to counter. Um, I'm gonna um, hold off on that. I don't want to go through anything. Construction costs capital. Let's go for that for now rather than another the tech. Just because it looks like we're going to have things sorted. Improves. Although, that's going to disrupt things now. Because we are in balance. Natural authority. That's going to disrupt things because that's going to be yin. So actually, this needs to be yang. That needs to be that one. Because that yin one's going to kick in next Child turn. Keep it balanced, keep it balanced, keep it balanced. Brain gunner still aren't at full strength. Might might as well fight you. Decisive victory. We're not gonna lose anyone, but I would rather minimize my casualties. Just in case we do decide to go for the for the soul. Uh, also, thanks to everyone the I don't can't remember if I mentioned this earlier now, but thanks to everyone that clarified that I do get a chance to stop other actions beating me to the final victory but you have to pay close attention to your notifications if they get the four souls before you but i think it's every 15 turns you can knock them back however a lot of you have said this isn't necessarily that beneficial uh for you to actually stop um Dragon God. stop them winning just because you end up focusing your whole time trying to stop 
their uh, their attempts to win the campaign and you don't get time to go into the realms of chaos yourself to finish things up you don't really want to get behind um so we'll just have to see we'll just have to see how things go um and hope that we can do it otherwise the only other way to take them out is keep battling them back with your lord until you can send another army over to them to wipe them out or knock them out so definitely want to sort of later on calculate who we need to knock out where and when for maximum effect basically keep these guys here i know i'm not blocking up those flanks and they probably will try and flank me but we'll just we'll watch them as they come on in i stand ready everyone buffed up yep I have defended Cathay for generations i will not fail now I'm gonna slightly adjust you guys just a smidge I mean, I am attacking them, so they might just stay put and let me blast them. We shall see. I think eventually they would charge forward if we do enough damage to them. I'm bombarding them if they don't want to move. Oh, there we go. They heard me. They're like, uh-oh, no, we have lost a bit of our force. Prob's time to move. I'm smashing those demonettes. Take out, focus on the exalted demonettes, though. Watch these guys don't try and flank all the way around. The only problem is, obviously... go over this side march we don't have spears march. order and balance march in order ranks. long spears Put spears out protect the infantry if we can although they might get blasted before they actually make it that would be lovely focus on that one we can throw in these ancestral warriors if we need to i am going to throw my troops forward spears just in case i do have some spawn of slanesh coming in Whack that there. Some on that there. That's got them perfectly. Hit all these boys. Lower them all down. Drop everyone down. Get off my missile troops, the Furies, but that's okay. Oh, that's not okay. And heart blasting his own units. Who'd have thunk? Oh, that's melted. It's a matter if you get shot a bit. Bring him down, bring him down, bring him down. Zap it. There we go. Celestial faithful. With pride! Send your sensors! 
If you stop messing up my own troops, that'd be great. Dragon attack animations are a bit wonky at times against other single entities or monstrous entities. They kind of just nudge each other. So hopefully they can sort that out soon. There we go. Now it's just tail slapping them. Although that splash damage did hit crane gunners. There we go. Now it's down. There's the victory. Are we looking for losses? 226. Okay. That'll give us some nice post-battle loot. Hopefully enough for the Celestial Barracks. And hopefully give us a little bit of replenishment. Two thousand six hundred sixty-nine. Lovely. Replenishment 8%. They yep, take no it. Good oh boy. The storm Athletic kiln. Nice. That's pretty cool. Ah, oh, it's because I've already kind of gone into it. It's not letting me go. I've got to go out of the zone and back in again. You're kidding me. We saw upon triumphant Really? That's frustrating. I mean, I could force march my way down there, but there'll be another army that will just jump on me straight away. So I have to move out and then back in next turn. Dang it. Rats. Should have just gone straight down. Should have just gone straight down. Oh, well. Uh, yeah, Ying, Rage of the Dragon... Going through our hard to hit, you're powering her up. I mean, possibly be useful to get lightning strike, and I mean, going through fervent corruption reduction would be decent. But I do want to power her up to be pretty solid, and then we should have enough left for blue. Storm scale, more armor. Our attack's pretty high right now, but it can be better. A tool fit for the dragon's daughter. And you get that at 18. Okay, for your compass. That's fine. What are we going to go for here? Scouting. That's a good one to have passively, but we might as well finish off all your spells. So, finish off the chain lightning. Get that done. Or chilling in the garrison. I mean, we could move you over here. Uh, I was going to bring it over, though, wasn't I, to get a Terracotta Sentinel. That's what I was going to do. And get some cannon. I move further down, I can. Depends how much the green skin threat is and how these guys manage. For the moment, uh, let's not do anything with you, actually. Just have you hold. This is we come over here and we're going to get in that celestial barracks. That's what we're going to do. The dragon blooded. Yeah, you need to stay there for the moment. City command. Can't afford any of that. Actually, yeah, bring her to the wall will help with uh, upkeep cost reduction as well. Natural authority. But actually, that when that goes in next turn, that will sort out our problems. So in which case, we can actually force march her now. Let's do that. Save us some money. Boom. Look at that. Beautiful. Yeah, minus eight. When that goes in next turn, problem solved. Lovely, lovely, lovely. So you, you can definitely stick around, mate. Or now. Oh, they come back. Loves 
We lost none. Good. That looks like we are actually getting some replenishment somehow, so I'll take it. Competent protector. Good. And now Yin... Oh. But... Your Yang. That should be going back. Have I built something else somewhere? I must have done. That upgrade... Increasing that up... Increase the amount of stuff? No. So as I no, but that's already Yang, so yeah. Oh, oh, and it's because I built the archer platforms. Oh, Lionheart, you wally. I can switch it over though. Takes two turns. Let's do that. Oh wait, hang on, no, we're building oh, that's upgrading it. Yeah, that's fine. Cafe. Yeah, you can definitely... Well, for the moment. <laughs> it would make sense to have an army on the walls. Oh, are they coming to attack? I mean, they're sending both these guys here. I don't see any point dropping it down because I, I want to be attacked. I want to face an awful... I'm going to regret this, aren't I? Shaper of the eight winds. Uh, you've not upgraded. One more turn then I can get the Terracotta Sentinel, which does cost a lot, but it's going to look so cool. Um... We've got the J Warrior crossbows. They don't have the shields, but no point swapping them out when they've got decent veterancy on them. Um, we probably should get some J Warrior halberds. Where are we actually getting those from? Which area is giving us those? Is it down here? Yeah, all the way down there. So we could keep moving down. I mean, it probably would make sense to move down to the Dragon Gate. That is already there. So we'd have to force march. It would be tired if they attacked. But with the garrison, it wouldn't really matter if we're tired. I wouldn't have thought. So yeah, it's just bobble on down there. Um, ah, you don't... Ah, crap. No, I've boo-booed. That does not have the upkeep cost reduction. Head down to Snake Gate, please. Because you do. What have I done here? Because we should totally have upkeep. Uh, we've gone for the recruit rank because of that. Mm -hmm. We haven't gone for the recruit rank here. We've gone for the growth. And that can be pretty powerful. Recruitment costs for local armies. Shoot, is that, is that what we need to recruit global units from there as well? Or is it only ones that you can locally get? I would imagine only locally get. I'm going to keep you guys cheap and cheerful for now. Just get some spears in there. Very brief little cut there. Had to go to the door to get a delivery. Thank you, Amazon. Right, let's end the... Oh, no. Before we do, uh, we've got Meow Ying to move, haven't we? Got to go through that next portal. Don't forget that. Dragon. Move her away a smidge and then back on it. Although, actually, let's move her in in encamp stance so we get some replenishment. Yep, yep, yep. Footsteps back and we go. Circle of Vainglory. 45k. Hero and Lord recruit rank plus 20 for 10 turns, all provinces. And all lords and heroes increase rank by five instantly. Now, I've seen this actually. You can get this up to... I don't know if maybe it's higher than this. But the best I've seen it is increasing the rank by 15 instantly. Which is just crazy. One thing I, w I wonder is in the in a, in a Kislev campaign. If you do the invocation that gives you a supporter every time you increase rank. If you time it well, can you have that active and then increase rank by 15? or And will it give you 15 extra supporters or will it only count it as kind of one increase because they're just all being plopped on in one go uh food for thought that but we're not going to take this one it's not a sword we move on now where's the army in this bottom there's one here is that it just one on this bottom circle cool that's fine it's not a particularly nasty force um you guys weigh in the comment section probably only go through the next turn and we'll say this next time if we don't get the sword on that last portal do you think our army's in a fit enough state to push on and do the demon soul battle here? Or should we just take whatever that final reward is, even if it isn't the sword, just to give us a big old boost uh, for funds and we'll come and get that soul another time or another rundown. Try and get the sword if it doesn't appear right there and then. Let me know 
in the comment section. End the turn. Get back and uh, start defending that bastion, I guess. Oh, no, too late. Bastion's already under attack. They've sent two armies in. Oh, we're just in range for reinforcements. Oh, good, good. <laughs> good, good. Oh, I'm worried I'd move too far away then thinking, uh-oh, I should have stayed there. That's what they're looking for. Okay, they are going to push the attack. Here's me going, oh, God, I wish the AI would attack me. And now it's that's a lot of trolls. We're coming as reinforcements. One minute 41. So this garrison has got to hold these guys back. Actually, they've only got to deal with that first army because these guys are taking uh, a minute 58. Oh, my days. What a time to pull back line. I mean, at least that garrison's really good. Right, okay. I mean, it's not Miao Ying, so we won't get a cool cinematic, unfortunately. But let's dive on in and hold them off at the Great Bastion, at the Dragon Gate. I think we've got this. Those, those trolls, if I'm not mistaken, is their leadership still trash? Anything to reduce leadership. Debuff it somehow. Be pretty decent. Beautiful. So my reinforcements are coming in here. Good. That's great because they can reinforce the front line. So we just need to hold this wall. Okay. Am um, I going to risk channeling magic? What's the pool like? Mm, you know what? I'm going to risk it. I am going to risk it. Roll the dice. Way it worked. Nice. Start deployment. Thank you very much. Just get missile troops. Together. Obviously, it would have been better if we had our army in here as well. Order and balance. Us all but then maybe they wouldn't have attacked, actually. So they've got enough. They've got enough forces built up. It depends how quickly these guys replenish. Um, so yeah, we'll do a fighting retreat back through, like we did before. Form up round here if we have to. If we get broken on the outer defenses, hopefully you won't do though. Um, I did like having the towers here, didn't I? Explosive tower, do we just go big straight away for maximum damage? Or do we go for a cannon tower or something else? I am... I'm going to go big. Go big and go explosive straight away. I hear the heavens. Right, so... Missile troops, missile troops. We, we probably want to have more of our troops over this side because our reinforcements are coming in from the left. Warrior crossbows. Never conquered. They activate both those. So that's fine there. I mean, we could Not spread them out a little bit more. Just need to manually drag them out a bit more. Dragon crossbows. So let's do that. Are you going to let me drag you out? On. There we go. Let me just, I normally just push forward and it spreads them. Why aren't you... Why aren't you spreading out? Okay, fine. Don't spread out. Dead crossbows. That's a bug. They should be spreading. Fine, you guys go there. Wind and fire. Spread them a bit more. We don't have anything over there. That's fine because we'll have troops on the walls to hold and defend. Uh, what we'll do is we want to watch the gates. There are multiple gates. So what we'll do is put a celestial dragon guard on each gate. And then Praise the dragon. we will pop the celestial faithful. Uh, Jade Warriors to hold them up. Yeah. Jade Warriors. Praise the dragon. I guess they want to go for the walls, which leaves these guys spare. So we can have one of you guys 
holding each gate as well. Although maybe not on that one. I think we'll need some of you guys to support the archers, actually. You're like so. Anyway, we've got the cavalry back here in case we need them. Right, let's do this. Powers to blast we away. Perish, the celestial wind is eternal. We get the crane gunners up on the walls, but I don't know if we'll get a chance for that. Bring down those trolls. Yeah, is their leadership still one key? Well, not one key, but low. It is. Bring down those broad champions because they will My mind hurt us. Is ready. Defenders of Cathay. Hold. We want to get crane gunners up on the walls. I'm at the gate. Enemy ladders coming up. Yeah, we've got swordsmen all along here, so that's fine. Where they're all coming up, not a problem. I'm not bothering over here just yet, which is good. Enforcement's going to come in any moment. Blast them along the wall. Very nice. Yeah, get wrecked. Store and steal. You'll need to send more armies than just this. Jade Blanters. I feel like this is a good, another good position for a tower because reinforcements coming from here. We'll go for a cannon tower, I reckon. Reinforcements have arrived. Good. good, good. Oh yeah, let's get her into the action over here. Deal with those reinforcements. Get them all in. Just set them up on fallback positions. I don't think we'll fall all the way back to the keep. Just don't need to. Three, two, one. Give me that cannon tower. There we go. guys move on over here bring we could have the crane gunners up here actually that's the point go all through there mammoth is in hold them back these troops up on the walls are gonna need some support but we'll we'll just fall back and hold. Thoughts in harmony. Understood. Never conquer. Now let's get over there. Cavalry. Cavalry forming up. Let's fall back thing. positions if we need to. With joy. Doing alright so far. Stand ready. Suffer as he is wrath. Offspring of dragons. Kiss of the spirit dragon. It's coming in. It's going to be overloaded on this side. Just want to get her along here so we can do some talons of night as they try and climb the walls. Archers, if we can, let's pull you back Thinking off the wall. Bows. Get the spears Withdraw. up there instead. Order and balance. Here we go. The rest of you keep firing. Mine as one. Stone and steel. Hammer's down. Master of Azir. Warriors. The celestial faithful. You guys stop moving. Back over here, please. 
Another mammoth is in. Leading the way. Wind and that lord's about to go down. Of ancestral warriors, please. Of course. My chosen place. Jade planters. Move that cavalry back. It's not going to do us any good. Chilling here. Get out, 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 get out. Ah! On gilded foot. There. Don't have a slow, do I? Yes, I do. A new path. Oh, my missile troops, they are making their way. What about the iron hell gunners? They're on their way. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, do another one of Ancestral Warriors here, please. Celestial Fury. Get stuck in here, please. I've seen there's something back here. Controls. Go, go stuck in. Unfortunately, the Iron Hell Gunners here are not gonna do too well. Let's see if we can get them out and up and firing from here. If maybe we can get the Crane Gunners set up here. I will go. The Celestial Faithful. How are you guys doing? You guys are doing all right. Dragon Let's pull all of you guys along the fire here. Naturally. Turn you guys back in fixed. on yourselves. By pull you guys down. The Turn you lot around. The Keep them busy. Thoughts in harmony. Yeah, Mom. Pull up here, please. I'll send you down here because it's going to be a perfect position for Talons of Night. Right there, please. All those trolls from that second army. That is beautiful. That's a big old break across them. Their leadership is shredded. That's beautiful. Warriors, never conquered. Yeah, unfortunately, my gunners not doing so well. But all their force is about to break, so we should make it out of this. Yeah, there we go. There's the victory. They are broken for now. Nice. See them off. Didn't get to position our other army that well, to be honest. But the garrison held. We had to plop a couple of towers and job done. Yeah, we'll see him run off. I just wish CA would make it so they can't retreat through your settlement. They should have to go back out through the gate. I mean, maybe it causes too many pathfinding problems and that's why they don't, but it does seem silly when they retreat back through your settlement or off to the sides. I 
mean? Going off this way, I guess. Mm, they're going along the Bastion line, I guess. I don't know. Something that's been in the series throughout, so I can't see it changing anytime soon. But it would be nice. It'd be good. we lose anyone no we didn't we nearly lost her though that was that was dangerous army right that one's gonna come back though for sure venerate cool we're gonna have some more battles at the bastion good 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 what's this the hairy plague poison the fruit plus four control 10 turns yeah we can afford that settlement besieged turtle gate okie dokie I get out there. All, whoa, they're all being hit. Oh, kiddo. Oh, this isn't aggressive enough. Oh, no. Oh, good God. What's this ambush? Army failed to spot an enemy ambush. They've launched surprise. So, I've had ambushes. I don't know if it's a bug, but every time when I was playing this pre release, uh, early access, every time I ambush one of these where I couldn't see what they've got, I lost no matter what. So, I'm going to say we fight it. It's probably only be like five guys, but still. We'll fight this, get back to our turn to wrap things up for today. And then we'll uh, go towards that final portal next time. And I think, I think we'll just take whatever temptation it gives us. Maintain ordered ranks. Oh, we haven't named him Marco Polo yet, have we? Oh, of course, they go right into my missile troops. Oh, we've run into their lord the other way. This is going to hurt. Caravan in disarray right now. Pile in there. The Slow them up, Lancers. Retreat, withdraw for the moon dragon. Great warriors, repositioning. He took pieces of the dragons. There we go, they're gone. Balance Pat actually is in their favor, so. Are those lead belchers? Yeah, they are. They're insane. We need to stop them pronto. They will perish. The celestial faithful for the moon dragon. Stone and steel. Fall Cathars. Then gangs faithful. Take out their lord easily enough. Minds as one. With the missile troops got to pull them back. Hit him from behind. Maybe save those archers. I re could really do with those Iron Hell Gunners rallying, please. Marco Yolo. No. Take position. Get out, Marco Yolo. The personification of law. Order and balance. Thoughts in harmony. Now we're in there just to keep them slowed down. There must be order. Present spearmen. Spread them. I'm a hu I'm a hundred percent like certain that this game, like Warhammer Two does it as well. Warhammer One does it. It's just total war games in general. I swear the AI can hear you when you start mocking it. Well, here's me going like, oh yeah, these ogre ambushes aren't that tough. Oh, we're not getting uh, harassed enough at the the Great Bastion. What does the AI do? <laughs> it's listening.
Fast forward that. Smashed them. Kill a few more. A bit more XP. Thank you. That'll do. That'll do. Yeah, I would be very wary of order resolving uh ogre ambush events. Just because I don't know I don't know what it is about them, but every time I've order resolved one uh, in my own kind of playtesting, uh, I found it just wipes your whole army, no matter no matter what. It's okay, they did do a fair bit of damage to us, but we we turned it around. It wasn't that dire in the end. Okay, so all my gates are under attack. Fun. So they're hitting Dragon us again. Can I not get back in there? No, I can't. I could move down here. I mean, like this one we can knock back. That's period victory. We could just order resolve it. They probably this replenish up. Advanced. It was going to be a nice way to farm some XP. We are too far yinned. But only for a turn. Ah, no. Okay, we definitely need to knock those guys off so that we can get our Yang building Another conversion time. finished up there. We want to be back in balance. The Lord We're still doing all right, though. Turtle Gate is under siege. They've got an army and a half, but obviously they could be sending more. Looks like they'll be keep sending more. Um, but bring it on all the while we can hold it. And I would love to have one of these battles when we get Miao Ying back there. And she should be back pretty darn soon because we can send her in normal stance. Yep, we can. Right. Um, so yeah, weigh in if you think, I mean, our army isn't too badly beaten. We probably could push for the Demon Prince soul if that is pure garbage if it's just gold then yeah i can i can get behind the argument that while gold is nice you don't have too many territories to upgrade right now um you could recruit more units sure but that would probably bankrupt you so maybe it would be better just to get the the soul so that you can always just come back here a little bit more leisurely later on for the sword or another round of temptations to get something a bit better if it is the sword obviously we'll take it if it is one of the other ones that gives some really good buffs and bonuses we'll take it um, it's just whether or not you guys think it's worth pushing through and fighting that battle regardless um, if we're not going to take a temptation or just take take any cash basically and get out of here would mean we'd be back in our territory ready to help defend the Bastion uh, and what I say I say a bit quicker only by like a turn because the following turn we just go through do that battle and then get kicked out anyway but yeah let me know your thoughts um, and we will soon be ending our time here at the oh so lovely penis palace until the next one, I hope you guys have enjoyed. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. Follow me on Facebook and Twitter, take part under the Legion. Check out my affiliates and sponsors, Games Planet and Overclockers UK. Until the next one, ciao for now.